Every night at 8.30 p.m., my grandmother accuses my grandfather of cheating on her. My grandfather is 83 years old. He says to her, now, now Wheeze, now how am I going to cheat on you when I got to pee every five minutes? <laughs> the whole family laughs, chalks it up to one of my grandmother's crazy jokes. That was until she swore she saw other women in their house. I don't know if these were hallucinations or flashbacks. 40 years ago, these were all true. My grandfather put food on the table for all five children and left his vows on countless bed sheets. He did what a man was supposed to do back then. Come home afterwards, leave no trace of perfume, but a wife always knows when someone else's sweat is mixing with their husband's. My grandmother never really got over sharing her husband. 40 years later, these women are still inside of her. She fights every day to get them out. My grandfather calls the house in a fearful slur. Y'all gotta help me. Weeze is going crazy. She's seeing other women in the house. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Before I can answer him, my grandmother's voice bursts through my ears like a machete. You get that woman out of my house. What woman, Weeze? That bitch by the sofa, sipping my tea like she waiting for supper. Weeze, that's the coffee table. You think I'm stupid? I know those legs anywhere. I watched them walk up and down the supermarket acting like they weren't wrapped around my husband, passing me a grapefruit like she's my equal. Weeze, hold up, that's the ironing board. I know those breast printers, you were buried in them last night. Weeze, you going crazy. This ain't crazy, baby. This is called healing. Now, like I said, you got that woman out of my house. The phone clicks off. My grandmother's voice, usually the sound of fresh cornbread, sounds more like a throat filled with gunpowder. I didn't know resentment could cancer the mind. I want to tell her that I'm scared. One night, as she's heading downstairs, she sees movement in the dark, mistakes it for him thrusting, grab the nearest lamp, and just keeps hitting and hitting until she figures out why she stayed in the first place. I want to tell her that I understand. I know what it's like to hand a plate of my limbs over to a man that has already eaten, to see her in her joints, to know exactly what she liked. I want to ask her how she do it with a family, put her heartbreak on hold to raise their children, stitch a smile on her face while her sheets are tangled in sin. During the day, my grandfather destroyed his marriage certificate for swung open legs. At night, he returned to my grandmother with an open mouth finally to devour her. Her mouth is now an open barrel ready to fire till death do them part. Woo!